he was aggroed on the one that was behind the rock. So he, to the one that died, he was aggroed on him. Now there might be another bandit around here, unless that's what he was supposed to be. But there's supposed to be another one around here too. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. Let's go and wait till daytime if it isn't. I think it's close to it. Yeah, let's go wait 12 hours. Because this will also be able to trigger the other quest. Good day. I'm Tolgan. Herald to Countess Narina Carvain here in Bruma. She requests your company at your earliest convenience. What's this regarding? Countess Carvain would prefer if you speak to her in person. She also said to present you with this stipend as a taste of things to come. My lady holds court from 8 in the morning until 6 in the evening each day. That would be the best time to see her. Okay. The Countess is in attendance from 8 o'clock. Yeah, if you wish to seek audience with her... Yeah, I was just repeating the same thing about the audience thing. Okay, so 12. No, we're going to wait. Yeah, so that's the next one we're doing. Uh, there is actually something to mention as well. Uh, let's see here. Uh, is that at some point, uh, the ring will become glitched and you cannot remove it because it considers it as a quest item. Uh, there are ways you can go around this, but yeah. What news do you bring? Uh, Raynal is dead. I knew I'd recognize Raynal. I think when I first met Braden many, many years ago, he introduced me to him. They were part of some sort of brotherhood. They would roam Cyrodiil in search of legendary treasures and the like. The only reason he stopped doing that is because we got married and he wanted to settle down. I'm afraid, thanks to Raynal, that time is lost. Uh, my name is Long ago, I made a promise to Brayden. I promise to never reveal to anyone what I'm about to reveal to you now. However, because you've avenged his unjust death, I feel that Braden would understand why I'm breaking that pact. Braden told me about this amulet when they first brought it home from whatever distant land it came from. He never really trusted anyone else in the group, and before he secured the treasure in that cave, he had a special enchantment placed upon it. The magic masks the true identity of the item. All it takes is a simple command word, and the amulet would be restored to its true state. Uh, did the word die with Brayden? No. He always feared this day would come. He left me knowledge of that word in the event that he died, and I came into possession of the keys. If the other members of Brayden's group were still alive, and I on my deathbed, only then would I pass the knowledge on to them. If you'd give me that amulet, I would like to show you what you've recovered. Uh, here's the amulet. Thank you. I will now speak the word. Brother. Here is the amulet back. It's as beautiful as it was the day I remember seeing it long ago. I want you to keep it, as I have no use for this anymore. I'm certain that's what I want. And I'm certain that's what Braden would want. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I hope that the amulet helps keep you safe on whatever roads you may travel. Okay. I'm glad he's dead. I know that's a horrible thing to say, but I think you understand. I do. Okay. Justice has... You've got a real bounce. Yep, because of all this armor. All right. All right, Countess. I've heard much about your deeds from my people in Bruma. They should. I trust the stipend Tolgan gave you whetted your appetite. No, it might have been like five gold and I wouldn't care. Yes, that's why I'm here. No, it's not. <laughs> Good point. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Countess Narina Kavain. I assume you've noticed all the Akaviri relics I'm displaying. Well, it's safe to say I'm a collector of sorts. I've invested a great deal of time and money acquiring these bits of ancient history. In fact, 
I'd be so bold as to proclaim my collection the most complete in all Cyrodiil, perhaps even beyond. Except for one thing. And what thing is that? A particular relic has eluded me for many years. Possessing this piece of Akaviri antiquity would make my collection complete. Ooh. I'm of course referring to the Draconian Madstone. I think you're mad. <laughs> the stone is a fine bit of Akaviri craftsmanship. Worn like an amulet, this talisman is said to protect the wearer from poisons of any type. The madstone appears as a snake coiled around and encircling itself. The eyes of the snake are supposed to be precious gems or some such. Through my sources, I've learned that the last reported location of the madstone was the ruins at Pale Pass. Uh, Pale Pass? Are you familiar with the history of Pale Pass? Uh, for the instance of this, no, I haven't. Back at the end of the first era, Raiders from the continent of Akavir attempted to gain a foothold here in Tamriel. At that time, the Empire was broken into smaller factions. Raymond Cyrodiil decided to unify them and form an army to repel the Akaviri raiders. The force became known as the Army of Raymond. The two armies clashed in what's now northern Cyrodiil. The Akaviri were strong and well supplied. But their greatest error was marching through Morrowind on the way to their objective and dismissing the response it would garner from Vivek. They didn't count on Lord Vivek forming an alliance with the trident kings of the Dreg. From Morrowind, he struck at their rear flank. Not only did this make the Akaviri fight on two fronts, it also cut off access to reinforcements and supplies from the sea. The alliance ended the conflict. Not quite. The army of Raymond knew that the organized Akaveri forces were commanded from a hidden post in the mountains. Rumors placed it in a snowy vale called Pale Pass. That's where Raymond focused his attention. As his forces fought their way across the Gerald Mountains, the Akaveri suddenly surrendered. It was assumed they were overwhelmed and gave up. The only strange part was that the command post and Pale Pass were never found. It was dismissed as a rumor, and the army of Raymond celebrated. It's come to my attention that the post did exist, and it happens to be the last reported location of the Draconian Madstone. If you retrieve the Draconian Madstone for me, I'll be happy to compensate you by rewarding you with another Akaviri artifact. Are you game? Sure. I had a feeling you'd accept. Good. Then let me tell you how you're going to find the Madstone. Okay. I've come into the possession of a diary written by an Akaviri messenger. I suspect that the text within can lead you to the ruins. Okay. Here's a translation of the passages we could still read. It was quite damaged. I've also included a rough map that was drawn in the diary as well. I'm also providing you with a unique key that was supposedly found with the diary. I'm assuming it'll prove useful when you arrive at the site. I'm also going to give you a spell that just finishes the quest for you, diary. I paid several scouts to try and find the ruins at Pale Pass before I hired you. They were only able to locate the first of a series of landmarks. These landmarks are mentioned within the diary. The one referred to as Dragonclaw Rock has been located. I'll mark it on your map. The rest is up to you. My scouts reported bitter cold and dangerous creatures in the area, so they couldn't proceed. Be cautious and return home soon. Good luck. Okay. Uh, the Draconian Madstone of Diary. The messenger's diary will make a nice companion to the madstone in my collection. Okay. Draconian madstone. The madstone awaits, and so does your reward if you retrieve it. Okay. May the path ahead be free of you. Okay. So we're going to go really, really fast because we're just about to run out of time. Ah, okay. Okay. 
kind of weird though that it, it didn't bring me to lifting the bale, but okay. Ow. Okay, do I have healing vitality as my current spell? Nope. I kinda need that, thank you. Alright, so Dragon Claw Rock is around this area over here. So it kind of looks like a Dragon Claw, so that's pretty much why it's called Dragon Claw Rock. I have arrived at it, as you consult the Mr. Dyer to learn the way to the next landmark. Uh, let's see here, there should be... Okay, you have to follow ha! a road to somewhere. Hi! Okay, now where is it? Okay, I think it's that path then. Okay. There's a path you're supposed to follow. I didn't quite remember it, but I think it's up here. Supposed to, I think you're supposed to be able to like kind of lean your way over here, and you go over here, you go over here, okay, do you actually have to read the diary? Like, is that how this... Is that how all this gets activated then? Is that it? Yeah, see, so you have to go there. Then you're supposed to find a statue. That's what I'm trying to find, is the statue. Or did I go too over the statue? Wait. Might have been wrong. I might have needed to go up this path then. Was that wrong? Ah, here's the statue. I reached the second landmark, the Sentinel. I should consult the messenger's diary once again to discern the path to the third one. And the door should be over here. Okay, I was a little bit over. Bye. Serpent's trick. Mine. Light of Fate. Ow! Okay. Uh, hi. Should probably just keep the claymore out, to be fair. Uh, nope, not even that. Okay. Uh, there should be a skeleton. Yeah, I just got the, bo uh, the body of the messenger who penned. The diary I've been carrying, even though he died over a thousand years ago, the bones have been well preserved by the frost in the caves. He seems to be clutching something in his bony hand. I should investigate. Uh, near the body of the Mr. Fest, there appears to be Agaviri writing on its surface. These must be the orders Scout spoke of. Ah, nice, level 8. Okay, bears level seven. They're not even my level, and they're just living through one shot. It's surprising, because they should be. They should be dying in like one hit, like those wolves. Okay, so we're in Pale Pass now. I've emerged uh, from the Serpent's Trail to find myself face to face with the legendary Pale Pass. A path winds down into the Snowy Valley. I should follow it. Okay, so there's something that's actually here that is something that's really nice. And it is based off of the enchantment loadout that I have used. So, during... I know for a fact I did this with the Nabrum version of the armor, so it's actually much easier to notice it. So, during the Nabrum version of the armor, you'll know that I had it boosting certain attributes 
Now this is based off of another object that's within Oblivion. A sphere with the crumbling walls of once mighty Fort Pale Pass. It appears to have been destroyed by a landslide long ago. I should proceed to the ruins and search for the Draconian Madstone. So if we go over here, somewhere over here, maybe. Uh, I'm a bit confused here. Should be over here somewhere. Frozen barrel. Yeah, where is it? Is it up here? Or am I... Or am I just not there? Oh, it's over here. Frozen barrel. Crumpled note, rusty key. So we go read to this. Blah, blah, blah. Found a ring. Okay. Uh, now, to get this, we need to go over to here. Where is it? There we go. 